Welcome back to Scale Auto Guys Workbench. Today we're working on this AMT 63 Chevy 2 Nova Station Wagon. Now this is the curbside kit in the Craftsman series. That means it doesn't have an engine. But the nice thing about this particular one is it does give you an option if you want to put an engine in and let me show you what I mean let's first start off with the body that body is nice and crisp there's no flash whatsoever on this body that I could see I looked all over it all under it nothing nice crisp clean lines no warp no twist nothing Here's your chassis, and this is what I mean by it doesn't have an engine, but it does give you an option for an engine. They left the hole open here for an engine. They only give you a single exhaust, which this car would have had a inline six cylinder. If you wanted to put, say, a, I don't know, a 350 Chevy in there with dual exhaust it's not going to be possible unless you manufacture your own exhaust system but it would be difficult to do with the molded in rear suspension here's your interior tub now this is made so that if you wanted to you could leave out the back seat that's separate the uh, door panels are kind of light but that's kind of normal in this style kit. Here's your engine insert. And what you would do is just glue this down in place right here. It's got locating pins. So you would just, well, if it would line up. <laughs> I think you got to put it in a little bit differently than I'm doing it because you have a pin for the drive shaft there and it doesn't want to fit past that so you'd probably have to you know maybe trim that off but it goes in there so when you flip the chassis over you can see an engine in there or a faux engine in there let's put that in the back the other tree it's just got your your back seat dash hood wheel backs let me talk about the wheel backs a little bit. Now this has got a metal axle for the rear wheels and then it's got this uh, pin and block assembly that goes in the chassis here in the front. And uh, let's talk about the wheels and tires a little bit. Here are the pad printed white wall tires that the kit comes with. As you can see they're very thin and they would be in this model year of car 1963 those would probably be a, a 13 or 14 inch wheel and skinny tires being that that this is a craftsman plus series car that's a promo car this is what you would get with it that would include the small wheel backs and the small hubcaps now if you wanted to build this bone stock that's totally cool you can do it it gives you everything you need for that but I want to customize it just a little bit so there was a, a post on my Facebook page if you follow me on Facebook there was a debate and the debate is well, let me get this set up here. Do I go with a skinnier, t uh, well, a little bit fatter tire than stock? Let me see if I can get that to focus. Oh, it's not wanting to focus. A little bit skinnier than, than stock with this style wheel. Or the same tire with a five spoke it's not 
this is more flush so it's a little bit more modern wheel and it wouldn't really look a hundred percent good on that car or do I go with the same wheel cover and well, I wish this camera would stay in focus here we go uh, same wheel cover with a fatter taller tire to give you a size comparison let's see if I can get this to stay in focus here size comparison it's a little bit taller tire a little bit wider tire and so I posted on Facebook what do you guys think well it's kind of hands down the wider tire with this style rim and I think that's what the way I'm gonna go there's only one problem the wheel backs that come with the kit well the wheel backs that come with the kit don't exactly fit the tires they just fall right inside now that's not a huge huge problem I could just glue this wheel back to the back of the uh, the rim of well the I guess you could call it a rim um, I could just glue it to the back of that problem is if I don't get it center it's not gonna look right and I dug through my parts box and I could only come up with three wheel backs let me aim that down a little bit there there so you can see I could only come up with three wheel backs and I dug through all of my parts boxes and I don't want to rob them from another kit so I'm either gonna have to keep looking which I may end up doing because I do have a, a few other avenues I can go down or like I said I can just you know glue glue that wheel back on there and just get it as center as I can I may end up having to do that so there's the 63 Nova also I am planning on testing out this red chrome paint from Rust-Oleum I've already tested out the blue and that turned out beautifully and so I'm going to use this red chrome on this car. So that's how that's going to go. <laughs> so let's get started on this. I've, I've, there's not a whole lot to do. There's not a whole lot of parts in this. Oh, one other thing. I almost forgot. I did get off of eBay an engine for this car. So I've got everything, I think, except for the carburetor. So I've got an air cleaner, valve cover, the engine block transmission, uh, radiator hoses, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, the uh, belt and pulley system. I don't have a carburetor, but that shouldn't be a whole lot of a problem because I've got a, a bunch of those around here. So I did manage to get this, I picked this up off of eBay oh, a few months ago, and uh, so that's going to go into this body. Now I believe this particular parts tree is for the other 63 Nova station wagon that they have out that has the orange car on the body, or on the, excuse me, on the box, um, and it come with a utility trailer, I believe. So... Yep, that's going to go in there. So now you guys have a rough idea what it's going to look like when I get it finished. Oh, where did that go? Oh, I have a decal sheet here too. Um, I forgot all about this. And the glass. I had the glass right here and it disappeared on me. Oh, sorry. I bumped you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Here's the decal sheet. I don't think there's, uh, you know, other than the gauges and the name badges, I don't think that there's any of the uh, 
decals I'll use off this. So, and then this fell on the floor and I didn't catch it right away. This is the windshield and rear glass, your headlights and taillights, and a red telephone. The handset's right here. And there's the base of the telephone, your two taillights, and a steel axle. And I think that's it. Oh, let's not forget the direction sheet. As you can see, it's pretty basic. There's not a whole lot to this build. So this one here should go pretty quick. The thing that's going to take me the longest, I think, is just the painting. And uh, hopefully that won't take me too long. So let's get over to the paint booth. Let's get some primer laid down uh, on all the parts. And uh, I'm going to see if I can hunt down another one of these wheelbacks. There's got to be one around here somewhere. If, you know, I got this gigantic box of parts and I just can't find a wheelback. It's just crazy. But I'll persevere somehow. <laughs> Alright, let's get over to that paint booth.
It's bare metal foil time. Alright fellas, the bare metal foil is finished and I do have to say it looks really good. It's just a bare minimum, Ooh, got a little something on the roof there, just a bare minimum but it really stands out. Alright, I've got just a, a few more things to do and then push it all together and I'll see you at the turntable okay fellas uh, in the past I've showed you how to put my, how I put my glass in and sometimes I've struggled well finally I got smart and I taught myself a new trick I don't know if it's a a trick per se probably a hundred other people have done this thousand people may have done this I don't know but this is what I'm going to do from now on if you look inside you can see that I have some scotch tape in there to hold the glass in place and I think that's what I'm going to do from from now on tape it in place then apply my Mod Podge let it dry and then remove the tape that way there the glass doesn't move and I don't have to struggle with it any longer. <laughs> so just regular old scotch tape. Just peel off a little section of it. Now this will peel right off. It doesn't leave a mark or anything on the glass. You just stick it on there like that. Stick it on the body. And that glass is not moving. So let's get the Mod Podge put in there and let's get this thing finished up. And yes, I did not paint the overhead in this. I, I rarely do because honestly, who's going to see it? <laughs> Unless you take the car apart, you're not going to see it. So, I'll just put a little dab in the corners there. What I like about this Mod Podge is it's very forgiving. If you make a mistake, it cleans up really well with just soap and water. It doesn't mar the windows or, you know, leave any marks on the glass. It holds really well. And that's that's it. Give it a few minutes here to set up. We can peel the tape at that point and uh, get on with the final assemblies. I've got the engine mounted in. I've gotten the interior completed. I know this is supposed to have an automatic, but I put a stick shift in it anyway because that's what I wanted to do. 
<laughs> all right. Let me throw this all together. And I'll see you at the turntable. Welcome back to the final on this 1963 Chevy 2 Nova Wagon Craftsman Plus Series by AMT. This was a fairly simple car to build. I really like the ability to add an engine with this kit. Honestly, it should have come with one, but oh well. By sheer luck, I found a guy on eBay that was selling the engine for the other version of this kit. And I think it really finished this kit out, having that engine. I also love how this uh, Rust-Oleum red chrome paint went down. It's not so much red, it's more like a copper or a bronze, but it still looks really great. I'm really starting to dig this color. Um, I'm trying to think of other projects I can use it on and things like that. I've got a gigantic can of it, so I gotta use it. <laughs> the wheel and tire setup that I used on this also helps set this car out a little bit. It really kind of finishes it out perfectly. But I think that this car would have looked a little bit better if AMT would have included a roof rack to put on it and maybe instead of having the molded in suspension maybe a separate uh, rear axle that you could uh, adjust the rear height of the car but this is just another example of taking a simple build that is one step above a snap together and making it look great well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you have any questions or comments please write those in the comments section below and I'll be happy to respond as soon as possible be sure to follow me on Facebook and don't forget to check out my new merchandise shop by following the link in the description box below or going to my channel page and clicking the shop button if you want more videos like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching Scale Auto Guys Workbench, and I'll see you on the next build.